Hello world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. So I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math assessment. Each week we'll practice a specific question type. These videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they're to the point. And at the end of the video, I'll point you in the direction of some more in-depth videos if you know that you need some more practice to make math your jam. The question type that we are going to focus on this week is, drum roll please, matching item. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach you. Before we get started, I just wanted to clarify something. The purpose of these videos is to break down the test item style, what we're thinking when we're breaking down a test question, okay? In other words, it might seem like I'm moving through the problem and the actual solving pretty quickly. I'm not trying to teach you something new when it comes to the math. I'm assuming that you already have seen it. If you know that you do need help though, remember I mentioned at the end of the video, I'll show you where you can access more in-depth video lessons that break down the actual content, the actual math that's going on. This is just about the test practice, okay? So go ahead and pause the video and solve today's problem on your own. And when you're ready, press play to check your work. All right, fourth grade, here is your fast math freebie of the week. It says that three original numbers have been rounded to create a new number. Determine or figure out whether the original numbers were rounded to the nearest hundred or to the nearest for instance, we've got an original number of 7,861. The new number is 7,900. Our mission is to figure out, was that original number rounded to the nearest hundred or to the nearest thousand? So because I have three original numbers, I know that I'll have I need to create three working spaces. Let's go ahead and get started with the first one of 7,861. Okay. So first let's round it to the nearest hundred and see. Nearest hundred. So we have 78 hundreds in 7,861. So that would be between 78 hundred and 79 hundred or 7,800 and 7,900. The halfway point is important. That would be 7,000. 850 and 7,861 is just past that, causing us to round up because it's past the halfway point to 7,900, which is the new number. So it must be rounded to the nearest hundred. But I'm going to check it out and just make sure that rounding to the nearest thousand doesn't work. Switch colors. So this time, rounding to the nearest thousand, we have seven thousands. So if we round it, it would be between 7,000 and 8,000, okay? And in the middle, the halfway point would be 7,500. Well, 7,861 is right here, causing us to round up because it's past that halfway mark to 8,000. That is not the new number, so it's not rounding to the nearest thousand. All right, let's move on to the next one. We have 5,099. The new number that has been created is 5,000. So are we rounding to the nearest hundred or thousand? My guess is to the nearest thousand because 5,099 is pretty close to 5,000. But let's prove it using a number line. So we have 5,099 and first we need to round to the nearest hundred. So we have 50 hundreds. That would be between 50 hundred and 51 hundred or 5,000 and 5,100. The halfway point would be 5,000, and in between 5,000 and 5,100 would be 5,050. 5,099 is really close to 5,100, so we've up to 5,100. But that's not the new number, so it's not rounding to the nearest 100 that's happening with that original number. It must be rounding to the nearest 1,000, so let's check that. We have five thousands, so that would be between five thousand and six thousand. And halfway would be five thousand five hundred. Well, five thousand ninety-nine is really pretty close to five thousand here. 
because it's before the halfway mark, we're rounding down to 5,000. So in this case, we're rounding to the nearest thousand. All right, last one, we've got 1,450, rounding to the nearest hundred. We've got 14 hundreds in this number, so it's gonna be between 1,400 and 1,500 or 1,400 and 1,500. In the middle would be 1,450. Oh my goodness, that is right the exact number that we need because it's exactly halfway. We actually need to round it up to 1,500. So it looks like it is rounded to the nearest 100 in this case. Let's check the nearest thousands though. Okay, we've got 1,000. It could be between 1,000 and the next thousand would be 2,000. Halfway is 1,500. And 1,450 is pretty close to that halfway mark, but not quite. So it rounds down to 1,000, which is not the new number that was given. So it must be, our answer must be correct that it was rounded to the nearest 100. All right, fourth grade, how did you do? Well, make sure that you go ahead and record your notes onto your paper. And remember, if you need more help with this, that's what I'm here for. And I'm about to show you where you can get more help, okay? Now, here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the links somewhere around this video for some more info. Cool. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something Something we do once we're good it's the one thing we do that makes us good if you want to be better stronger or more confident with something you've got to put in the effort to throw down your best and just remember that I believe in you and I'll see you next time world changers